Okay, so good morning guys. Uh, I am Rahul. I do electronics and product design with Flint. So what we have here is our flexible battery. Uh, this is our fundamental technology. We have a cellulose based material in the middle which is the white part. We have zinc and manganese based materials for the anode and cathode. And we have our water based quasi liquid electrolyte. So it's not exactly water or solid. It's gel based material which we combine in a very smart way that our researchers developed into well having a flexible battery that works. Now flexible batteries have been around for a while, over a decade, but the issue was that they were a very low power output, 0.2 to 0.3 volts, but and they were also just a one-time use thing, so they acted as a primary cell. What we've done here is we have made them rechargeable and we've bumped up the power voltage output to 1.5 volts. Now if I may bring you guys this side, our products are fire resistant in the sense they can handle extremely high and low temperatures negative 20 degrees to positive 80 degrees celsius well i'm from asia so we do use celsius and not fahrenheit you can puncture the batteries and they will still work so they're extremely durable so you can bend them twist them turn them puncture them do whatever you want and they're still safe and they work but at the same time you might be like hey so that must be there must be some well, you know, it's catch, right? In terms of how safe it is or what kind of materials it's using. If you can see around there, we use none of the heavy metals or toxic and scarce materials. No lithium, no nickel, no cobalt, no lead, none of that. Our batteries, hence, are biodegradable in under six weeks. Here you see the stage at week one and at week four, this is what you already have. In two more weeks, the entire thing is gone. It is great for the environment in the sense it's biodegradable faster than a leaf and it's of materials you find in your food and soil. In terms of products, this is our, one of our first few products. This is the pouch cell. We have a very scalable model. The module consisting of eight pouch cells gives you around 12 volts and 7,000 milliamp hours, which is the same as a lead acid cell of a similar type. So what we are trying to say is, hey, our batteries may not be required to be flexible here, but after you're done using them, they're great for the environment. And as a society, we should be moving towards green energy. So this is our cell module, and this is a very scalable solution in the sense we can make it into an energy grid storage system and whatever, the possibilities are infinite. May I bring you guys this side now? Our batteries are lighter by 30% compared to normal standards because, well, we use paper. Uh, and so this is some of our possible applications for the present which we are exploring. So things like air tags, car keys, watches, torchlights, anything that uses well, coin cells. Something interesting that you see here is a CubeSat. A CubeSat, we have partnered with a startup called Rifei, and basically they send a very low power satellite to space. Now the idea is that sending stuff to space is quite expensive. So using a lighter battery implies your weight of the satellite is lower. And hence you can send more payload for the same amount of cost. This is saving thousands of dollars in turn, right? So we are moving into pilot production in the next three to five months for coin cells and pot cells. Um, our manufacturing process is very similar to the lithium ion battery. So we don't have to reinvent the wheel. We can just take the same machines, put our chemistry in, and voila, you have a paper battery. Inside the coin cells is our paper battery. So everything you see here with industrial standard casing, we have our own solution inside. In terms of products for the future, we are thinking of things like car frames, air frames, airplane frames because well you can make any custom shape and size and these are flexible and your wristbands why must the watch be restricted to a coin cell you can have an entire wristband with a battery or a glass frame for smart glasses so the possibilities are infinite and we are flint we are the future thank you very much